Hey guys, Ernie here. Welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to do a long overdue review on a product that I received from a company called The Meat Empire. This is a US based company and they have started to make an alternative to traditional jerky uh, using a South African product called Biltong. So basically, these are made very differently than uh, jerky's made. Jerky, of course, as you know, is made into long slices and it's dried fairly aggressively uh, over time and it gets pretty, uh, pretty tough. Now this is seasoned meat that is uh, dried very frequently over a heat source, a, a mild heat source. One of the big differences between biltong and jerky, from what I can gather, and I'm no expert, is that the biltong is dried in larger chunks of meat and then sliced very finely, and that's what I have here. This is sliced biltong, okay? I'm gonna read you guys a little bit about it. What's interesting about this product is that it is made from naturally cured grass-fed beef. The ingredients are very simple. Beef, salt, brown sugar, and a spice blend. Uh, this spice blend is peri-peri, which is a traditional South African spice blend. It's made in the USA, and it's distributed by the Meat Empire, which is based out of Austin, Texas. They contacted me, given the fact that I am an outdoorsman and I like to do a lot of backpacking and hiking and bushcrafting, and they thought that obviously beef jerky is something that's very commonly used in this community, so they figured maybe biltong and the drawers would be used as well. So we're going to take a look at them today. Another really interesting uh, difference between biltong and jerky is that there are no preservatives in biltong whatsoever. Uh, it's also not as sweet as most jerky is from what I understand. Again, I haven't tried this. The drawers, um, which I'll show you all a picture of here, is more of a sausage. It's a very thin sausage. It has ingredients on here of beef, salt, brown sugar, spice blend, stuffed in a lamb casing. Again, all natural, no preservatives. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do a little taste test. And we're gonna see how they taste. The next thing we're gonna do is um, integrate it into a common backpacking meal, which is ramen noodles. I haven't had lunch today. So one of the things that I've seen done a lot, and I've done at times, is put beef jerky into ramen noodles and it adds a little protein very low weight and uh, good protein, but it always turns out a little bit chewy. Now because the biltong is sliced very thinly, I have a feeling that it'll rehydrate much better and taste more like actual real beef. So we'll do that in a little while, but first let's start with a taste test. Let's start with the traditional drillers. I can tell y'all it smells very, very good. It's not too uh, dry, let's try it. It tastes a lot like a traditional beef you know, stick, but it doesn't have that kind of factory flavor that you get out of it. It's more beefy, if that makes any sense. I also like it because it's not extremely fatty. You know, sometimes you'll get some of these sticks and they just leave this, this coating of fat on the top of your uh, mouth, which just isn't very nice to me. But this doesn't cause that at all. It's very smooth, very good. We're gonna move to the biltong next, but I'm gonna finish this first. All right, so we're gonna try some of the sliced biltong. And I wanna show you guys that it is very different than traditional jerky. You can see it's literally like thin slices of meat. So. Okay. Now, the Dragwurst was good. Don't get me wrong. This is really good. So, yeah, I could probably eat this whole bag. Um, the peri-peri spice is just a little bit spicy, but not much at all. Uh, don't let that kind of stand in your way. But I like this because it tastes like beef. You know, it doesn't taste like preservatives. It doesn't taste like overly spiced. It doesn't taste like it's been dunked in soy sauce, which is what most jerkies have been. And they're just overly seasoned. This is just right. You actually taste real seasoning and beef, which is tremendous. And you can look at it and tell what it is. It's just dried beef that's been sliced. It's great. Again, not fatty at all. Doesn't leave that fatty coating that you get out of some of these products. Really, really happy with it. Now, we're gonna go ahead and make ramen noodles because I really think that this is gonna turn out the way that I hope it does. Now, some of you might say, okay, Mr. Paleo Man, why are you cooking a obviously non-paleo meal 
uh, which is ramen noodles? Well, because the fact is this channel is about backpacking and a lot of people, uh, most people, don't really follow a paleo diet. Now, part of the reason I think that the meat empire sought me out was because they know that I value high quality, well-sourced meat, grass-fed beef, etc. And I'm really excited that this product's available and that it's so good. Uh, but we want it to be not just for quote-unquote paleo people. We want it to be for everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and incorporate it into a common backpacking meal. So let me get everything out. We'll get it going. Now that I've uh, got it to a boil, I'm going to let it sit for about 15 minutes, let all the meat rehydrate and everything else. We'll check back. I'm going to go and um, do a little exploring over here while this works. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes, so let's get our ramen noodles and see how everything rehydrated up. I'm going to pull out one of these pieces of meat. This looks Exactly like I thought it would. Like a piece of beef. And that's exactly what it tastes like with a little kick, which is really good. I've done this with traditional beef jerky, and it's just not very good. The beef jerky takes way too long to rehydrate, and it's always chewy, and it just doesn't fit in with the rest of the ramen noodles. This, on the other hand, is tremendous. Now, I've only let this rehydrate for 15 minutes. I guarantee if you just put the cold water in here way ahead of time, put the meat in there and let it hydrate for about an hour, even in cold water, before you make the ramen noodles and just make the ramen noodles as normal with that water, it would be even better. Let's see if we can give you guys a good look. Good stuff. So, what do I think? Well, I can tell y'all, the products from the meatempire.com are very good. Uh, they're high quality. They're made from grass-fed beef, which is important to many people, including myself. The Drower's is more of a traditional beef stick. It's very good, but I think the Biltong is where it's at. It, is, it shines much, much more to me than the other, although they're both very good. This is just a little bit more unique. and takes beef jerky like to that next, next, next level, which is what they're going for. Now, it's tremendous on its own, just eating the way it is, but I can tell you all that if you make a soup out of it, and, or you could make a beef stew and potatoes and all that stuff instead of ramen noodles. You don't have to go the pasta route. And maybe I'll do that down the road here. I just got a new zebra pot. Maybe we'll try that soon. Anyway, the Biltong is amazing. This company, like I said, is kind of a startup company. From what I understand, they're pretty new. The gentleman who emailed me uh, grew up eating this traditionally from, from family that was from South Africa and decided, you know what, I'm going to try to bring this more to America and try to get rid of this jerky and make a better quality jerky or quote-unquote jerky type product. And I think he's definitely hit the mark. Y'all can go to the meatempire.com. I'll leave a link below to check them out and order. They have an awesome flat rate shipping fee, three pounds of beef for a really low price, uh, which makes things much easier for you to buy instead of having to pay all that money in shipping for pretty heavy stuff. You can buy in bulk and put together some meals for the trail whether it be just like this out of the bag or in a cooked product like this. I want to thank the guys at Meat Empire for an opportunity to review their product. I'm sorry guys, it took a little longer than expected, but as all you who follow the channel know, we've been moving and it's been a pretty busy time. But please make sure you check out their products. They're very, very good. I can't recommend them enough. They're just good. That's pretty simple. I wouldn't say it if they weren't. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and stay tuned here on Paleo Hiker MD for more videos soon. Thanks guys.